Hi everyone, it's Elaine here. I'm back. I thought I'd better get another um, card put out, otherwise you'll forget me or get bored and move on. Hello to everyone that's actually subscribed to my channel and to those who have only just joined today, have a look today. Welcome. I'm really pleased you are here. Right. Today I'm going to try and reproduce this card which I made ages ago. Um, I really liked it myself. Uh, I might keep it rather than sell it. Not quite sure yet. Depends how this new one turns out. To start that off, I need a gel press background. I made this one this morning, which I'm quite happy about. While well, I use that, I don't like that one on the back. I made a few others. Not keen on that one. Not keen on that one. I made that one that's quite nice, um, where you use stamps on the actual gel press, then take the print, which is quite handy and quite effective. And that's cleaning off the press. Anyhow, without further ado, I am going to show you how I made it using the Lavinia Rolling Stamps. If this one doesn't turn out any good, I will use the one that's on standby. Okay, there's the gel press. Where's my roller? Okay. I used the Vinya Sahara, Olive and Mulberry. To start off with, I'm going to get some ink on the brayer. And I'm going to just roll it out like that. Gently, gently, gently. Fade it down. A bit more on. So I want it a bit more depth. A bit more, I think. It's quite relaxing this, and you never actually know what you're going to get. So it's quite fun. Now, put that over there. Clean off the roller. Now see how much is coming off the brown, yet you can hardly see it on there. Now on to Olive. Oh look, I'll just muck that up. Back to the yellow in a minute, I think. That's no, alright. A bit more Olive. See, look how much coming off the roller. I need a little bit more Sahara. Just to uh, brighten that top bit up. Right, now the messy part. I'm going to use a sponge. I'm not quite sure what you call it. It's a makeup sponge I've used, but you can buy them actually for crafting. I just had this lying around. Into the mulberry, tap some off the lid. Now I'm going to add round the edge halfway. So you've got a like a mulberry border. Using the ink from the lid, don't want to waste it. Doesn't look much, but it is. Look how much is on that sponge. Right, what I'm going to do now, which I didn't do earlier, I'm going to use the olive. Yeah. And tap that round the um, mulberry on the inside. Look at me not taking my own advice, tapping it off in the lid. I am useless sometimes, but at least you get to see my mistakes. And that's what it's all about. Apart from you having a laugh or giving it a go. Right, now 
I need my fan brush. Where's that gone? Oh, it's there. Drop of water on my mat. Dip the fan brush in. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Tap some off. Now tap a bit on the um, a little on the background. Depends how much you want. That's all I'm going for. Now, wrap that up before I get it anywhere. Um, this is the moment of truth. Now, I shouldn't do this because it could fall off. But I've got a seven and a half by seven and a half piece of card. And I'm going to turn it over. So I can place it where I want and try and even it out. Hopefully in the centre. And I'm going to tap that over. Look, you can see the water spreading. Now, turn it over. Press. Moment of truth. There you go. Actually, I'm not quite sure. I think I would prefer the other one. Actually, this one's still wet anyway, so there you go. That's how I got my background. That's another one for later. To clean it off, a piece of paper or use a baby wipe. And then, oh, I should have put a piece of card on, look. Let's use my baby wipe. Let that air dry, I think. Okay, put that out the way. That's done and dusted. Now, for this one, oh, by the way, I run a black Sharpie around the edge like I did in the last video. Okay, for this one, I'm going to be using Nocturne, Warm Breeze, Twilight, and Chianti Versifying Clairs. I'm going to be using, there we go, Yellow Pastel, Flipping Egg, Yellow black and white pastel pencils Winker Stella Yellow glitter Posca pen Get over there. Okay. Secura Jelly Roll Stardust pens Clear, red, purple, rose colour A Red Koinor watercolour pencils. I'm not sure which red I'm going to use yet. The black Sharpie pen, which I use around the edges, but also to colour in the image if it doesn't take properly. My must, that is. Hill Mask from Lavinia. Actually, I'm going to mark that so I know where it, that it is actual. Then I can find it. <laughs> no more elements. Let's so we'll put them back. I've got two cluttered and glossy accents and of course some stencil brushes which we won't be using for too much okay now oh yeah I forgot vine flourish lav 599 fairy foragers lab 498 Mini Slender Mushroom, Lab 151. Mini Meadow Mushroom, Lab 561. Mushroom Pods, Lab 730. Meadow Mushroom, Lab 563. Fairy Toadstool, Lab 671. Foliage Set 679. Dancing Fairies, Lab 136A. And it will either be Rufus or Rory, I'm not sure yet, but Lav for Rufus, Lav 644, and Rory is Lav 542. 
I think I actually prefer the, the fox, but we'll see how it goes. Let's get rid of that piece of paper. Now, here we go. Let's get some clean paper. Oops. Knocked my mouse off then. Oh, look. Clean. Come on, clean. Now, where to start? I'm going to start with the mushrooms. Let's move all my stamps over. They're all over the place. Look, this is how I'm storing my stamps because I know which ones I'm going to use. There's only more. Yeah, I should need that one. So we're going to stamp the mushroom, fairy toadstool. I think it's called fairy toadstool. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to be using my Stampin' Up scrub tool. Can't think what it's called. That side's wet and that side's to dry the stamps. Okay, we're going to stamp our fairy toadstool. And I think I might put that towards the middle, perhaps to the left. No. Should have put it a bit higher. Never mind, not going to be exact. Let's hope that's um, taken. Yep, that's not too bad. That's one. Where's the other mushroom? Well, mushroom. It's called meadow mushroom. And look at the mess on there. Clean it off. Knowing my luck, that will stamp onto the card and don't need that. Place that, I think, about there. Sorry if my head gets in the way. Yep, that's fine. Oh, look, don't matter, because I'll be covering that up. Now, I think I'm going to stamp some. It's been a while since I made this one. Um, where are they? The mini mushrooms. I'm not going to, I think I'll do those in midnight, just different, twilight I mean, twilight, wipe the edge, and I think I want a couple there, we have one to the back, we'll put one there so it doesn't look odd. Where's the other one gone? There he is. So I hope you're all well. Oh, by the way, my voice goes, it's because of my lungs and I might have to have a little cough and a drink. I might even have to use my inhaler. Uh, I'll put that one there and one there. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my fairy pods on. Where's my um? Sorry, I try to be organised. I'm going to do that one. I think in nocturne. Oh. 
I'm not going to do the whole stem. Fingers. Um, that one there. Oh, he's touching the top of mushroom. Never mind. It's not going to be perfect. Never is. Um, where's the other one gone? Took it off just now. There it is. Little tiny one. too hard on that one. Never mind. You get the gist. Now, what shall I put on next? I think I'll put some of these on. The um, dangly bits. I'm going to do those in Chianti. Chianti versus Fine Claire. I'm conscious of time because this one can take quite a while. Now I'm going to turn it on its side. Or maybe upside down. One hanging there. One hanging there. that bit off because he's a bit too long and on there I want to do a dark one that side and I let's take that off so if my head gets in the way and we'll do one there Oh, I'll have to go over that one. This is Elaine, you are listening to. And you know I'm going to make a boo-boo at some point. But you know what? Boo-boos can be sorted. Now, we'll put a tiny one there. Let's make a dark one over here. If I can find, yeah, I'll go over that one. Another one there. Stamp one off. Put it there. Stamp that one off. Put it there. Stamp off. Hmm. Needs more. One off there. Hmm. I think that one look I kind of missed that. I'll tell you what though, I shall extend the mushroom. Now shall I risk going through the fairy lantern? think no on another one there one there okay I think that's enough I could stamp off the rest of the ink though I should have um, what I'm doing now is adding the ones up to the front. It's turning to a mess. Elaine, stop. Right. 
Now we're going to add some foliage at the bottom of the base. And I'm going to add those in Chianti so we've got a bit of a contrast going on. Oh no! I'm going to try and put my fox in front of that. I'm going to stamp him now before I go any further. Oh, Mr. Fox, where are you? Let's see. Oh, he's stuck to the other thingy. Stamping pick thingy, I can't remember what you call him. Nocturne. Please cover up. Plenty of tapping. Got mark up there as well, but that doesn't matter because I'm putting vine up there. Right. Some people call this a happy accident. I call it a boo-boo. Always oh, going to cover it. Please, please. Mind you, I use my sharpie. Give him a good press because at the top he's got to go through the ink. And I want him to cover that boo boo. Oh, what's that? What happened there then? It's never done it before. That's weird. Anyway, Sharpie, here we come. That's the only bit that's needed. Oh, I can't believe all this. I can. I could stay in my hands. some of those marks off before I go any further let's see some of them be covered so no worries it's that one no anyway, mind let's carry on now we're going to ground that using my stencil, my heel mask I mean. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bigger stencil brush and I'm going to use Twilight. Quite deep, darken. Just missing the foxes. Rufus, I should call him Rufus. Rufus's face. Blend it down a bit. There you go. Wipe that before I forget and get it on my hands. Now, um, fairies. Now, which one's that? One of the. Oh, look, I haven't cleaned that off. It's my little fairy. It's either from the foragers or not. Yeah, that one's from the foragers. We're going to have her in black. Oh, look, I've got it all around the edge of the stamp again. Could be 
mind of all my bloody... Oh, excuse me. <sighs> my ruddy stamp, like I always do. She is going to go on top of the... Excuse my head. On top of the mushroom. Toadstool, I mean. Toadstool. Fairy toadstool. Please stamp. Lovely. Oh, she's perfect on there. I've got her in the right place. Right. Now, this fairy. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that. This fairy. She's climbing up. I'm going to do her in blue just for the sake of it. No, I'm not. I'm going to do her in twilight. Ah, nocturne, sorry. I don't know why I've got the twilight still open. It'll go dry. Now, she is going to be tiptoeing to reach out to her. Um, slightly different, this one. Oh, I should have put it on the edge. Never mind. She's reaching out to her look. And this is the last fairy. These are from Dancing Fairies. <coughs> Better get it on the edge, yep. Yeah. On the edge again. And it's my luck that will go on to the card. Shall I put her to the top? No, have her hanging on to that one. <clears throat> She's in perfect position. I think I'm going to put some more mushrooms in the... No, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. If I start doing that, I'm going to muck it up as usual. Now, I'm going to extend that mushroom a little bit so that... Um, let's get all my pencils and pens out. Which ones are they? They're in that one. Excuse me, I have got so many pencil cases. Right, we want black. So what I'm going to do is just extend the mushroom a little bit. I think that's it, actually. Sweet magic. <coughs> I think... That's all the stamping. Oh no, got to do the vine. I should do that at the end. No, I won't. I'll do it now. Okay. The vine. Let's roll my sleeves up a bit. They're annoying me. <coughs> Excuse me. Drink time. I have to. Might have to use my inhaler in a minute. Right, we're going to use. Do you know I didn't use the warm breeze? I don't think it needs it. No, it doesn't need it. So I told a lie in the beginning. I forgot I had it there. Now. Going to start in this corner. And then I'm going to second generation there. To, to the, the second generation kind of forces the um, 
solid vine. I love this stamp. I absolutely love it. So we're going to go there. Don't matter if it goes into the circle because it doesn't have to be perfect. I like, actually like those little wiggly bits. I've got it on my fingers. Oh, flipping heck. So we don't really want to cover her wings. So I'm going to go like that. What a waste of ink. And we're going to go, careful, let's do it properly. Now we're not going to go all the way down because we've got our lovely, lovely roofers there. Um, I'm going to have that one there. And partial there. Partial, second generation, I mean. You have to excuse me because I lose my words and forget what I'm doing and get engrossed in what I do and forgetting to talk to you. I'm going to do second generation there. We are going to go around the bottom. Um, shall I go that way? This might be the last. I'm going to move him along there. There. We're going to have a little bit of second there. And we're going to have coming down there. But let's make it a real end. Um, excuse me, I'm being quiet again. think I think it's a bit more busier than the other one. Never mind. Not supposed to be the same. Right, that's wiped. See Rory didn't make an appearance. Now wipe my hands. That's what a mess I get into. Oh, another dirty piece. Now we're going to blot it. I learnt that from Joe Rice after I made many mistakes. Oh, it was my come off anyway. <coughs> it must be all my hot air that's coming out of my mouth drying it off as I do it. <laughs> right, now the mushrooms. I'm just going to colour part. I don't know if you can see but I'm just going to colour part of it and then with my water brush in a moment I'm going to drag it over so that it looks like it's shaded one side. Sorry. Oh there's only one I've got to do that's good isn't it? But I'm not going to use my water brush. I'm going to use my Winker Stella to spread it out. And it gives it a bit of glitz then. But it's just as good as water. I mean, water is just as good 
but instead of me having to put glitz on later, mind you, I don't know why I'm bothering because I'm going to put glossy accents on there. Let's um, take a bit of the tip for that one. Spread it right out. Um, it's the only red I'm using. Clean off the brush. Now, we are going to use the yellow Posca for the pods, put their lights on. I'm going to use the clear jelly roll. For the dangly bits. Sorry, I went a bit quiet then. Well, you should be grateful actually. A lot of people pray every single day that I'm going to be quiet at work. And you know what? Their prayers never get answered. <laughs> right. I don't know if you can actually see. Probably not, which is a shame. I am now going to colour in the fairy wings. Mind you, they look quite nice with the... Um... Do you know what? I'm going to leave them clear and just add this sparkly so you can see the colour coming through. Because wings are supposed to be see-through after all. Well, that's my excuse and that's what I'm going with. Do a little bit of her hair. This one. A little bit of her hair. All the little swirly bits that come out of the fairy. This is very relaxing, a bit of her hair. Yeah, I think that actually, where's my pencil? I forgot a little bit of brown under these. The underneath Winter Stella again. Where's that gone? Drag it out. I love these Kohanor watercolour pens. They are so highly pigmented. Little one under there. Hang on, that one doesn't look blended that well. And we're going to have a bit of a darker brown, I think, there, around the edge. Just lightly colour it in. And that one. Blend that over. It's not that much darker. It's because it's over the yellow. Right. Now, these, I think, um, I'm going to use a silver jelly roll, sorry for mucking you about, and I'm going to add some dots there, I'm going to Cover over the lines down the toadstool. Um, and the little dots, obviously. Just to bring it to life a little bit. And that one. 
one, but there's no dots on this one. But I can always add them on that one. Dots down the sides. Gives a little bit of um, magic. Um, that toaster's making that lantern look crooked. But it's on ground, it doesn't matter. Um, where's that black pen gone? Should have left it out. He's up in the air, look. Oh, it's yeah, that's that was grey. Doesn't matter. Now we're going to dot some of these flowers. Not all the same colour. Just to give it a bit of um, oomph. Done purple, we'll do a bit of red. Yeah, see, I like the red better actually. In fact, I'm going to dot some of these yellow red onto these. Not on all. Um, because that fairy's in flight, we're going to put a couple of little, you can hardly see them, um, but it's movement, but that's what I think. Anyway, now I think. I'm on the last legs of this. I'm going to ground Rufus. Don't have to be perfect. Smudge it with my hands because they're handy. Do you? See what I mean? It doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's enough grounding. A bit under his tail. A bit more under his bottom. That's him grounded. Now, because the light's on, some of these mushrooms must have a bit of highlight in yellow. That's my theory anyway. Doesn't have to be much and you probably can't notice it where you are, but I can. And if you make a if you decide that you want to do something like this when you're I think I'll put yellow on that. When you're doing it yourself, you will actually see it. Just gives it shape. A bit on that one. Should have used the brighter yellow, but that's okay. Now, on to the fairies. We're going to give them a bit of shape. Oh, she's got a bit of a belly there. Don't be scared of doing this pastel. I used to do it in um, gel pen, but pastel is so much more forgiving. I used to do gel pen and um, smudge it as soon as I put it on. Mr. Fox, Mr. Rufus, we're going to do that bit there. We're going to do a bit there. He's being nosy. Just to give him some shape. 
on the front and again See how careless I am with this pencil because it rubs out now. I believe you can use a rubber if you make a huge mistake, but I've not tried that. I've just left as is. I'll show you a bit on his leg there. A bit more down there actually. Mm. Looks like as much as I put on I'll rub off but that's the whole point. A bit more on his tail. I think that's him done. Let's do a bit round his head. Where his leg would be. I think that's it done. Then I'm going to add a little bit of um, Winker Stella. My hands are getting really, really filthy. Um, just random. I'm not going to overdo it, just give it a bit of a shine in some of them. I hope you're all having a good day and then you come on here. <laughs> Listening to me babble, cough drink more babbling to apologize i find it really weird talking to myself and yet i do it as a full-time job because no one listens to me that's it i think i think that's done nothing's perfect so Looks like the lan lantern sitting on top of the little mushroom, but that's fine. Anyway, that's the finished card. I'm hoping you can see it. It will be mounted on an 8x8 card base. Actually, I quite like it. Oh, no, no, I forgot the glossy accents could hear you shouting at me. That's it, it's running. It's quite a surprise. It's not dried up in the last three attempts. Just on the red bits. This is when I'm quiet, concentrating. It's a bit like colouring. No, I don't think anything else needs it. You won't see it probably because it's not dry. But that's it. That's my card done. And look, no blending. No blending. Nice, simple. I don't think I've got a card base. Let's put it on there. Anyway. Thank you for joining me and I do hope you call again. Love you lots and see you soon. Bye bye.